What's up, Lee Tribe? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to painlessly and easily create a t-shirt design using Canva, which is a free online tool. And so this is for all of you that say, Lisa, I don't wanna buy Photoshop, I don't wanna buy Illustrator, I don't wanna buy anything, I just want something that is simple. Now, there are gonna be some limitations, but you know what, I think this is gonna work for some of you. I couldn't use it, it's a little too limiting for me, <laughs> but for a lot of you guys, you know, it might be enough. So. Go to canva.com and you want to create a free account. It takes you two seconds and you're going to come over here to create a design. Now I'm specifically showing you how to do this for merch, but this can work for any print on demand. The reason I'm doing merch is because merch has size requirements that you have to use for your template and Canva doesn't actually produce images with that file size. So you kind of have to do a workaround. I'm going to show you how to fix all that, take the background off and all that stuff you're going to have to do to prep it for merch by Amazon. So we're going to choose custom dimensions and I'm going to choose 41, 67 by, I can't see my keyboard because of this microphone, by 5,000. And the reason I'm not using the max Canva size, which is 5,000 by 5,000, is that's a square. And Merch by Amazon is actually a rectangle. So I wanna keep everything in proportion. So it's gonna make sense a little bit later on in the video, so trust me here. So we're gonna create the design. Now, it's very important to note that you position your design how you want it to be to be positioned on the shirt. So for example, if you want the design to be closer to the top of the shirt or the neck, then you need to position your design near the top of the template. Now, what we're gonna do is create a design for a basketball mom. Pretty simple design using text and shapes. So the first thing you need to know is that if you use any of the free elements on Canva, they are completely free to use commercially. Now, anything that says paid or premium, you might have to buy a license. So we're not gonna be doing any of that in this video. Definitely make sure you read and understand the terms of Canva, Canva before you do anything. But I did read the terms prior to doing this video, and it's my understanding that all the free elements are fair game for t-shirts. So we need a basketball. So let's go over here to elements. And as you can already see, there's a basketball here because I did this design prior to doing the video. But if this had not been there, you would just search for basketball here in the search box and you'll see a variety of different basketball shapes. So let's choose this one. And you can't see it because it's a white basketball on a white background. So let's go up to our color picker and we're gonna choose this orange color down here. Now, if you wanted a custom color, you could come up here to the little color wheel or not really a wheel, it's a, a square, <laughs> and choose your color that way. But we're just gonna choose this orange. And now here's a tip for sizing things up and down in Canva. If you hold down Option, Shift, or Alt, Shift if you're on um, Windows, then you can size things down from the center. If you don't hold down Alt, Shift, then it'll just size it one way. So let's size it about like that, just for the sake of this video. And so the basketball is actually gonna be the O in mom. So that's where we're going with this. So let's add some text. Let's go over here to the text tool. I'm gonna click add heading. Now this is where it kind of gets annoying with me, with Canva. Um, sometimes it's difficult. So I just type the letter M for mom. And I wanna size this up considerably. So I'm just gonna manually type that in 800. So let's move this. It's not quite big enough. So we're gonna use that trick I just shared and size up from the center, trying to get it to be about the same size as the basketball. So here's how you copy something quickly with Canva. You click, hold down option if you're on a Mac like me or alt if you're on Windows and drag. And notice how it tells me that I'm right there in the center. So if I wanna turn these M's the same color as this orange basketball, a quick shortcut is you click, hold down shift and click the other go up to your text color and then click the color that you just used. And I like how Canva puts your document colors right here near the top so you can easily access colors that you've been using. Bam, so there we go. So we wanna add the word basketball now. So as you can see, it's too big. So we're gonna drag this out until it's one. And now we're gonna drag it in. And I'm using the font Open Sans, if anyone is curious what I'm using. It's Open Sans Extra, it's up here. And that looks pretty good. Let's go up and make this orange. I always have to make sure everything is selected as well before you make the change. If you try to do it and something is not selected, then it's not gonna work. Now, just to give this a little pizzazz, let's add some horizontal lines. 
So let's go up to, as you can see, I've been doing this already, so here they are, but if this were not here, I would just type in line and it'll show up. So let's move this up and it's a little small. We wanna make it about the width of the design and we're gonna let our guides let us know it's in the center. And we're gonna come up and change this to the orange color and we're gonna use our copy trick, click, hold down option or alt on windows and drag down. Our guides say everything is centered. It's, the, the mom is a little big. What we could do is select everything. This is another trick. So that allowed me to just select, let me do that again. You just select the MOM and then you do the sizing trick and size this down and it'll just size down what I selected. Very, very nice trick that you can do in Canva and also Illustrator. Let's move this line up just a bit. So that's good enough. Not too bad. The space between the horizontal lines is not perfect, but you get it. Here's another trick. Let's say you wanted the lines to kind of alternate in color on the same line. What you could do is click and drag this down. We're gonna use our copy trick. Drag that over. Change this to a blue. We're gonna select these two again. Copy trick. You see what I'm doing here, you guys? So now we can select this again and drag this until it's expanding to the whole word there. Let's get rid of this, delete, copy trick again, select, click, hold down option, drag, and there we go. And as I said in the beginning, you wanna make sure this is at the top of your template. If you want this to be at the top of your shirt, that makes a big difference. I made that mistake earlier and was like, oops. Okay, so now we're ready to download this to our computer so we can take the background off and we can resize it to the merch template. So go up here to download. So we're gonna choose PNG and now if you have a premium account with Canva, you can click transparent background and it'll give you a transparent background. So if I were to click that, it would just prompt me to sign up for premium. So it looks like I can select it, but I really can't. So I'm gonna click download and it's gonna download the PNG to my computer. So the next thing we need to do is get rid of that white background because you don't want this white square to appear on your shirt. I'm on a website called onlinepngtools.com. It's completely free and it's super easy to do this. All you do is click this and then upload the image you just downloaded from Canva. And there you go. Notice it looks a little grainy, but that's just the preview. The quality is actually okay. So you're gonna click save as and then download. And so now we've got one more step because remember we've got to size this up, which I'm typically not a fan of sizing images up because you might lose some quality, but actually because we're only sizing up a little bit, it's really not that bad. So we're gonna go to online image resizer, which is at resizeimage.net, and we're gonna size this to the merch requirements, which is 4,500 by 5,400. So all you do is click upload image, and you're gonna upload the image you just downloaded from online PNG tools. And there it is. So you don't have to change anything except one part, and that's part four here. Just make sure you have PNG selected down here. Now remember we did 4167 by 5000 for Canva. I did that because once you change the width to the merch width, it automatically adjusts the height because we have keep aspect ratio checked. So that's why I did that 4167 because it automatically converted it to the right dimensions for merch by Amazon. Now, like I said, sizing up is not really a good practice, but in this case, it actually works out okay. So you come down here and click resize image, and sometimes you do get a failed message. We'll see if, if I get one here. Yep, if you get that, just click it again, and it does it. So just click download image, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like in Photoshop so you can see the quality of the image. So here's what it looks like in Photoshop. Let me zoom in because we're at 25%. I want you to just see the lines. They're pretty crisp. I mean, they're not as crisp as they would have been if you did this from scratch and didn't have to size it up. But honestly, for the manipulation that we did do, it looks pretty good. And for this type of image where you've just got flat colors, it's gonna be fine for print on demand. So that's it, you guys. Now you're ready to upload to Merch by Amazon.